friends. I hope you're having a good day today. This is a Sunday morning that I'm recording this and I have had a very nice relaxing weekend so far. I think I slept almost 11 hours last night, which is a record for the past several weeks for me. So it was really good to get some rest. I am going to do or try to do like a 50 style vintage hairstyle for the pixie cut. I'm going to be putting a lot of curls into the top and I don't want really tight curls but since I don't have a regular curling iron I'm going to use this Callista Perfecto Pro. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on to get it heated up here but I'm going to set this at 375 and I'm going to try to put a style together. So I am gonna put a little bit of gel in my hair so that it holds the curls a little bit better. This is Jason Flaxseed High Shine Styling Gel. Jason is an organic brand and this has no parabens, sulfates, petroleum, or phthalates in it. So this is a really good clean gel. I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hair. Not a lot, but a little bit so that it kind of grabs a hold of the curls. My hair is a little bit damp since I just took a shower. I'm gonna give it a comb through here. So the picture I'm gonna be working off of, let me give you a little hint here, is this picture. So I'm gonna give it a try. The curls, if you notice, are curled under and there is no sideway part. It's like mostly curled under from this way and some of the curls on the side are kind of going this way. So I'm gonna give this a try. We'll see how good it comes out and how close it comes out to the picture. In fact, I think I probably should not part from here. I'm gonna just comb straight down with no part. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this and then we'll start the curling. Okay, so now that I've got my hair dried, kind of looks funny right now, I am going to start by making sure this is hot, and then I'm going to start at the back here. Oop, it's a little bit damp. I'm going to just do a real quick one more shot to the back of the head. I'm going to actually comb out sections to put curls in with just a regular comb because I want them a little more defined than what I usually do with the Callista. and I'm gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. So while I'm curling my hair, I can kind of tell you what I've been thinking about lately. So that curl took pretty well. So I'm starting to think about how can I see both my kids for Thanksgiving? As you know, I think I've talked about this before. I talked about it last week a little bit. We are being ultra vigilant still. Coronavirus is pretty bad in our area. And in fact, not just a couple miles from here, there's a nursing home that has a ton of people sick. Anyway, we're just doing everything we can to keep my parents safe. And so we've just been really, really strict about things. So if we go into a store, then we quarantine for two weeks. Or if we have to like actually see people, of course we wear masks, but the last four weeks, I actually have been meeting my mom on her porch to visit her in the mornings because I had to go to the dentist last week, that type of thing. So anyways, I'm trying to come up with a plan where I can actually have both my kids come here for Thanksgiving and stay all week in my house. And so our temporary plan is to see if they can get a test. If they can get a test, then they can quarantine after they get their test and then come straight here which also poses its challenges because my son is in college and he has to like go to the food court to get his food, that type of thing. So yeah, I'm trying to just figure out the best way. I think it's kind of hard for both my kids to just stay away from everybody. They're not as strict as I have been and my parents have been. So I 
think the test is the best way to go. Unfortunately, the test around here, you can only get like one of those 15 minute results tests if you have active symptoms. So testing isn't exactly easily accessible in Arkansas. But I really think it's a good possibility because if I can get them tested and they come straight here, then I get to see them for, for an entire week, which I'm really needing to. On the side note, my daughter is coming down next weekend. She's not gonna stay with us. I'm gonna rent like an Airbnb overnight. We'll like go on walks outside and we'll probably talk a lot outside, but I haven't seen her in 10 months, which is absolutely nuts. And I'm just, I'm really dying to see my daughter. My son, I've gotten to see more because he lived here during the summer. How are you guys handling visiting your kids? I know everybody has a different level of comfort with how much they see their family and how much they don't. How are you guys doing it? So the curls are taking really nicely, I think. I think that side came out real cute. It makes me want to redo this side right here. So one thing with this hairdo is the bangs are definitely curled under deeply. So what I'm going to do is take separate sections for my bangs like this. Oh, that came out perfect. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so far I think I'm, I'm getting there. Now what I have to do is put some kind of product in that won't destroy the curls that I've got. I want these curls to stay very defined like this and I wanna tussle it just a little bit, but as far as what I've got going here, this is exactly the style I want. So I wanna just make sure that I don't need any more curls in the hair. So the back of my hair is really just too short to put any curls in, but I'm gonna just go through one more time and make sure that everything's been done that can be done. All right, so I've settled on using the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Finishing Spray, and I used this last week in my video after I fixed my roots. And what I'm noticing is that this is very good to get a little bit of texture in, and it doesn't give a very deep hold on your hair, but it is really nice for just getting a little bit of texture in your hair. And then what I'm gonna do is go over that with some hairspray. So the first step here is I'm gonna spray everything and just use my fingers and just tussle the areas that I want to kind of get some more texture in. So I'm just barely kind of squishing my hair together. Oh man, this is cute. I am in love with this. I think it's super, super cute. I don't know why I've never done this before. What do you guys think? Does it look vintage? I think it does. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick spray. This is just Heritage by Mindy McKnight. It's just a inexpensive hairspray. And I am set, so let me show you the sides and the back. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. This was really fun. If you want just kind of a fun, different style, didn't take any crazy tools, you could use a curling iron. You don't have to use this. One thing about this is you see how it does the curls. It's not as defined as a curling iron. If you haven't heard me say this before, this is my absolute favorite tool to use for a pixie cut. This is hands down the best tool. It refreshes second day hair great. I'll do a video soon on how I deal with my second day hair, but I use this all the time when I'm on my second day and it just kind of refreshes the style. Fantastic tool. I think this came out super cute. I love the style. It was really, really easy. And it really was about just getting the curls and curling them under at your bangs and then making sure that you don't tussle the curls too much so as you're not gonna ruin their definition. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye.